Hello, beautiful people. Grammy here, a.k.a. Eileen Smith. And in today's video, we are talking about using one of my favorite tools and the one I'm using right now for this live stream, and that is Ecamm Live. And I, for so long, wanted to be able to use Ecamm Live to record stories. Now, let me back up a second. Ecamm Live is packed with powerful tools. And one of the tools that I love, and a lot of Ecamm users, and you, of course you need to have a Mac in order to use Ecamm, uh, is the fact that you can pre-record videos with Ecamm. Now, the beauty of that for creating stories and things like that is in addition to all the little fun and interactive stickers and things that we can place on our stories built into Instagram and Facebook and of course Snapchat and <laughs> even your TikTok videos or what have you, in addition to those built-in features, we also can add some of the cool features that are built in to Ecamm Live, such as putting images up on your screen, your own images, not the stickers or the GIFs that are found inside of the various social platforms, okay? And also we can do things like uh, putting up a subscribe action. This is something that you can do in Ecamm Live. So now wouldn't that be cool if you were recording an Instagram story or a YouTube story and you were able to put up that subscribe option or, and what I've done today, if you happen to check out my, uh, shorts that I did today, there was one that I did where I talked about Ecamm Live, <laughs> and I had the scrolling ticker across the bottom of my, my short. And if you know anything about YouTube shorts, very similar to YouTube stories. However, they're a little bit longer, but you do have to record them in the 16 by nine format, meaning vertical, not in landscape, which is what I'm doing right now. So I kept, you know, racking my brain, like, how can I do this effectively? And, uh, Ecamm does have a really cool option where you can record in what they call tall mode, which is the same thing. However, it doesn't look as great with the different placement of the different, like the scrolling text doesn't look the same. It gets really small and things like that. So I was searching for an app, a way that I could use this with in Ecamm and on my iPhone. And so I've got to, got to, got to say good morning to Dr. Elo. Let me get rid of the banner here. <laughs> Happy Sunday, Dr. Elo. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me this morning. And uh, Dr. Elo, I do believe that you are familiar with Ecamm Live, and I'm not sure if you knew that you could use Filmic Pro with it. So here's the other thing. Filmic Pro is a really professional iOS app. And I know somebody's listening right now saying, I don't have an iPhone and I don't have a Mac. So I challenge you. I throw down the gauntlet. It's really a paper towel. I challenge you to find a PC-based application that will allow you to do the same things that I'm going to show you today with Ecamm and filming. Cause when on an Android phone, there are tons of, uh, apps out there. And I'm sure there's ones that allow you to connect 
with software that's on your PC. I know there is. Okay, but I just want you to figure it out because I can't do all the work. I'm doing the Mac side of things. <laughs> but Filmic Pro, I did not. So thanks for the knowledge. Okay, great. So Dr. Elo does know about, and he is familiar with Ecamm Live, but not about Filmic Pro. So uh, shout out to one of the moderators over in the Ecamm group, Frank. He's the one who introduced me to Filmic Pro. And so Filmic Pro is used by professional um, videographers. It has all of the bells and whistles for tweaking your video. Uh, me, I'm more simple. I'm just like, as long as my color looks okay and I'm lined up where I want to be in the shot, I'm fine with it. So you know what? Uh, let me take the time now to show you Filmic Pro. Now, I have my phone, which I'm going to put up on screen, but keep in mind that I, I want this to be distraction free so you can see the features in Filmic Pro. And so you're really not going to see, uh, you know, how it would look if you were doing a selfie and all that. All right. So we can do that later. But for now, I just want to go over with you. And sure, Shannon's show says, I have Filmic Pro for my iPhone. I use it with my gimbal. Oh, shucks. Oh, thank you so much, sure, Shannon's show. I love that <laughs> alliteration there. Oh, good. I, You know, I had a gimbal and I gave it away to my daughter. She never used it. <laughs> I'm going to get another one. Uh, I thought she would make more use of it because she does a lot more out and about stuff, but that was pre uh, pandemic. <laughs> so anywho, it's going to be a black screen, but you're going to see the menu and the interface of Filmic Pro. Okay. So I don't want you to be alarmed by that. All right. So here we go. Let me get my ducks in a row. Okay, I have it in the middle of the screen so you can see. And I want you to notice at the bottom, there is a cog wheel. I realize I'm, I just stepped away from the mic, so let's get a little bit closer here. All right, there's a cog wheel. So when you tap on the cog wheel, that's when it brings up all the different various menu options for example resolution you can set that i have mine set for 1080 then you just tap the cog wheel again to go back to the menu my frame rate i have it set for 60. the audio this is the most important uh, screen for what i'm showing you today all right so let's see if i can get a little picture in picture going i'm not sure where i'm going to put pop up. Okay. I'm fine over there. All right. So I don't want my Ecamm logo to be hidden. <laughs> All right. So this is the most important part of this is to make sure that you have the iPhone mic back. Oh no, I'm sorry. I tapped it front. It needs to be on the, you can do it with the back one, but it sounds muted. All right, so this is important. <clears throat> okay, I have a Rode mic for my iPhone. I actually use the Samsung Q2U mic when I do, most of the time when I do my stories and all this. However, this is not going to work unless there's a special dongle, which I don't have right now. Because in order for you to connect your Mac and your iPhone with the Filmic Pro app. Now you can connect it with other apps without this, but it has to be plugged in. So let me just bring the, uh, try. So it, this right here is connected to my Mac. So this is where I would connect my microphone. However, this is being occupied now. So and, you know, even if there was a dongle that would work, I'm not sure that the audio would 
uh, have lag. Or, you know, it just would all depend because you're combining a lot of different technologies here with this setup. So I would need to test it. And I honestly, I haven't done that yet. So it might work though. It may, I'm, I'm not ruling it out. But if you use the front mic, and here's the other choice that you have, you can use the back and you also can choose the bottom. So I'm letting you know this in case there's other applications that you find to use this Filmic Pro for, not just what I'm showing you today. Cause like I said, it's used by professional uh, videographers and, and filmmakers. Okay, this app is one of the best for capturing video for your iPhone, all right? So here's the file format. The AAC is really the typical Apple format, but you also can use AIFF or PCM, which I'm not even familiar with, so I don't go there. And I normally like to have it set on 48 kilohertz, okay? Uh, I tested it with a Bluetooth microphone before with the AirPods. I did not get it to work, so I'm, I'm not recommending that. But as the app develops, because actually uh, I put in a request, and of course I wasn't the only one that put in a request to get this audio into um, HDMI, which I'll show you in a second. That's another setting that we're going to go to next. Okay, so the next thing we can go to, we could go into devices and CMS, but that's not important for what we're doing today. Hardware hardware and I told you this was going to come in into play with using this with Ecamm and this is important right here to have this audio over HDMI has to be turned on and baby baby I did a whole bunch of testing for y'all this morning so <laughs> in fact I actually had to reboot my phone once because I had it turned on and it wasn't working. But that's okay. You know, it's like I said, we got a whole lot of technology. This this technology stack here is kind of deep. All right. <laughs> We're going deep into the tech today. So I, you have to have the clean HDMI out and the audio over HDMI. Now there's other options in here that you can use for other things, but has nothing to do with what we're doing today okay all right so oh uh, there's one more thing that you can oh here's where you set the cameras all right so i'm using the iphone 11 pro max so that's why you see so many different cameras here for me i have the ultra wide the wide the telephoto the zoom then there's a selfie and then there's something you can do, which is a double tape, which will give you a front facing and a rear facing camera. That may be something that you can use when you're creating your story or your shorts. I haven't got to that point yet. I've just been experimenting with it. And so I just, I couldn't wait. I had to tell you guys before I took it through all its paces. But I'll just turn on the selfie camera real quick. And you're just going to, you know what? I'll take off my picture in picture so you won't get too much, Miss Eileen. And I know somebody out there saying, I can never get too much, Miss Eileen. <laughs> uh, okay, so there you go. This is what it looks like now. You may not have known this because I never knew what these little, you see these little controls that are on screen? This is where you can like set your white balance and frame up your shot and all that stuff. And you don't want that to show up in your videos as well as the menus across the bottom here. But these little, these little icons, they have a name and they're called reticles. And I never knew that. And I hope I just taught you something. <laughs> so this Filmic Pro is one of the reasons why this app is so hot. Oh, by the way, there's a link to download this app. So if you're 
on an iPhone, go ahead and check it out. Um, I do think they have a free trial, but it's Eileen.link slash Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro, I believe. <laughs> and Or just search for it in the, in the app store. So that gets rid of those reticles when you tap on the screen. How cool is that? So let's go back. Let's go back to the cogwheel. Let's go back to the camera. Let's go back. And so you go back to the blank, black, okay? All right, so those are the things that I want you to be aware of. I do believe there's one more thing under device. Um, I, you can also use this app to record things onto your phone. And so you see here, you have save the camera roll. So if you're planning to use it that way, uh, let's see if I can get myself back on picture in picture. Okay, there she is. If you're planning to use it that way, make sure you have that toggled on. Don't get mad at me if you forget to toggle it on, okay? Oh, here's other uh, things that you've got to turn on. I want to make sure I got your attention so you can stop multitasking now. Come bring your attention back to the screen. <laughs> so you want to make sure your preview is active. You're going to tap to hide interface, which I just showed you a minute ago, right? You were paying attention, weren't you? Hide reticles. See, there's that word. R-E-T-I-C-L-E-S. I need to look that up on Wikipedia. Get Alexa to look that up for you. Okay. Reticles with interface. Hide zoom rocker. And I really don't know what the zoom rocker is, but I want it hidden. Okay. And so then um, you can turn on this thing that the volume keys trigger recording. All right. And there's other options in here. This app has so many features. And I want you to get creative. I'll show you something else that I did earlier that uh, almost messed. Well, actually, it messed up my video. Good thing I was only doing a short because it was a one minute video, less than one minute. And but it was a fail. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> and I tapped on something by mistake. All right, let me go back to camera so I can so you can really see what this what this did to my video. All right. At the very bottom row here, it says guide. Let me tap that on. And you can barely see it. You can barely see it because, all right, when I put my hand up, do you notice that there is a little light guide there that's showing you all the different quadrants? Oh, let's see if I cover up my camera. If that makes it a little bit better. Oh, there you go. Now I think you can really see it. You see the lines, the very faint lines there. Those are the guidelines. If you wanted to know if something was centered, uh, I'm not talking about the red one because the red one, I should be able to move the red one around. Okay, I got rid of the red one. All right, so you should, you can see here, that's the guide. And I recorded a whole entire story or actually it was a short. <laughs> Jimmy is here and saying thank you for this. Thank you for coming, Jimmy, and for have dealing with two Eileen's. Let's get one of her off of here. <laughs> we'll do that with this one. All right, so let me go back to camera and go back to any of the rear-facing cameras. So you don't want to have those guides on there. And I actually tapped it by mistake. And I sat here like, oh my God, what am I doing? I know that's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> and then I figured it out. So, so, and also you can tell too when things, they change color. So see how now the guide, and I know it's small, but it's at the bottom row there, okay? It's the fourth one over. And notice how it disappeared. It disappeared, but the icon also changed color. Good morning. 
Mr. Paul Peck from Drywall Tube. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And my other friend here, this is Robert that's Lynn to USA. So, you know, Paul and Robert, you guys got a lot in common because Paul is into making homes beautiful and Robert is into getting you in your home, especially if you don't have one yet. <laughs> okay, so that's how these uh, you know, I noticed that the quality has been lowered for me on this video. And if you are watching this on, especially on desktop, just click the cog wheel on YouTube. Just click the cog wheel and you'll see the settings and you can change that. I don't know why my re quality got reduced at some point. Okay. And, uh, Mr. Robert, he's just such a wonderful guy. He's saying, nice to meet you. Paul. Okay. So Paul is in the winner circle guys. Cause he's got that silver play button here on YouTube. And it just goes to show when you stick to your guns and put out good quality content, whew, amazing things can happen to you here. Okay. So, um, let's see if there was a stabilization would be good for somebody who is like I said, out and about with using the app. Uh, I have mine on a tripod. I showed you guys that already. All right, so I don't think there's anything else that we need to do in here on Filmic Pro. So just one last time. Uh, oh, this is where you do your color grading. And uh, Paul, I, I just love having gentlemen around me. <laughs> okay, so this is where you do your color grading. And I told you guys, I'm... I'm not a professional filmographer or anything. I'm just happy if I don't look too yellow or too orange or green, I'm good. But this is where you could tweak all of that. So as a matter of fact, let me just show, let's just do a little, let's just go green. But first I have to switch the camera around, right? So I'm going to go into selfie mode. All right. Get rid of the menu by hitting on that cog wheel. All right, so let me, I'll leave me up there just so you'll see the contrast here. So see how I move those levels and how now I'm a little, I can make myself, like if I wanted to put a little move thing going on there and if I wanted to be brighter and blue, I would just move it down. So. I hope there's a way to reset this. I'll look at that later <laughs> because, uh, there you go. All right. Oh yeah. AWB, I believe would be auto white balance. So I just let, let it stay on auto. Okay. So just so you'll know that there are other, uh, tools in here that you can use now. Also, when you're setting your zoom, that's that second button there at the bottom. All right, so now that's going to be too much, Miss Eileen. We'll just do one, one of her. She's awesome, but we'll just do one of her. <laughs> that's not how you do it, though. You got to get rid of that one. Okay. <laughs> so um, you can also zoom in. Oh, no, this is the changing the lighting. This is changing the zoom. Oh, well, we, yeah, we're going, we going to zoom back from that. All right, so now um, oh, there's other controls up at the top. I'm not going to go through all of them, guys, okay? And, you know, this is a fun app. And like I said, you can record on this app. All right, so if you wanted to just record, you just start the recording. See, there's a countdown timer there. And you also can play back these videos. So you saw I was playing around with it earlier today. Okay. Now we're not done yet because there's a really important thing that we need to do over an Ecamm. So let me get rid of, let me add me, get rid of the phone. And I feel like I am I don't know why I got so much mic in the phone. We, I got out of whack, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so. 
playing around with Zoom, I zoomed in a little bit too much. I don't know why. All right, so there's one last thing that you need to do with this, and that is a setting that you need to do on Ecamm Live. All right, so it's very important because if you are connecting your phone, like I said, I have it connected with this USB cord that is it's fairly long. I don't know the footage. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not good with that kind of stuff. I don't, it's not as tall as me, so it's less than four feet, less than five feet, right? So, <laughs> uh, okay, I shoot at 24 frames per second with Filmic Pro. I like the cinematic look. Yes, you know, this is what's great about all these uh, tools and apps that we have and all this innovation that has come into the space. We bet pretty much heck can have things the way we want them. If we don't want to use Macs, we can use PCs. There's a great number of tools on PCs. If we don't want to use a computer at all, we just want to use our phones. We got access to all that kind of stuff. I mean, we are so, so lucky. And all of these apps are, they're clamoring for us. They want us so bad. Okay. I got one well, I got a few of them in my inbox right now that want me to demo their products. They want, you know, so there's a lot of powerful things that we can do and just keep testing and innovating. You know, you may put out videos the same way all the time, but then they have what's called a pattern interrupt. So then you want to do something totally different and, you know, really get your audience's attention because they're like, wait. Well, she started doing that. <laughs> I've been using Filmic Pro for a long time and didn't know I could use it with Ecamm. Okay, Jimmy, so this tip is going to be worth the price of admission. Because if you didn't know this, trust me, I got messed up on it a few times because I've been testing this for a while. But like I said, they just added Filmic Pro. When I say they just added, oh, let's say in the last, since the pandemic, <laughs> they updated the app and added that including audio and the HDMI. And that's why this next thing I'm going to show you is important. And this is a screenshot. So I'll just drag it onto the screen, which is a beautiful thing I can do in Ecamm Live. This is a screenshot. Let me move it over of the sound settings. Everybody who has Ecamm Live, if you're an Ecamm Live user, every device or now with the new guest feature that they're rolling out, you have control over the audio for everything you bring in, even if you bring in a movie or if you, you know, you have sound effects, as you can see there. All right. This is a powerful tool. Okay. Ecamm Live is the bomb. As a matter of fact, I think it's time for me to put my banner back up. Because, you know, somebody might have just joined and don't know that you can get a free trial of Ecamm Live. Just go to EileenSmith.com slash Ecamm with two M's. But here's what you need to do. If you're using, in my case, I use a USB mic. But if you had another mic, it would show up there at the top. You need to make sure that your mic is muted. And then your phone is uh, is not muted, but do not check playthrough. Don't check playthrough. Okay. All right. Let me get this, take this down and get the comment up here from Robert. And what Manny can be the equivalent to Ecamm looking for a way to add virtual cameras. Manny cam is one. In fact, uh, our friend Barb Tomlin, she's one of the folks that I know that uses Manny cam. I really don't have experience with Manny cam. I just know that a lot of the things that, you know, we can do with Ecamm, she expresses that she's able to do with her Manny cam. So Robert, for you, I would suggest buy a Mac. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And Robert said, thank you, even though I just put something in his budget that he may or may not want. <laughs> All right. So 
So it's super important because typically if I wanted to use my iPhone uh, to show a video, or let's just say I wanted to show you guys something that was on Instagram. Okay. And I can do it with my setup. Now I would check on playthrough so that you could hear the audio. Now, of course, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm on YouTube and I'm not trying to get myself in trouble or, you know, put anybody else's content up. I could show you my video and maybe I will do that because I did a YouTube short today talking about this topic and, you know, it's a 60 second video. So, well, no, I'm sorry. It's a 30 second video. So, hello, beautiful people. I think I will I just, just show off another little feature of Ecamm. So we'll do that. We'll get me off of there. I got to get over here to the uh, audio levels. I closed it out. So now I will put on playthrough and I'm actually going to mute my mic. Tammy here, AKA Eileen Smith. And today I want to talk about Ecamm Live. I'm using Ecamm Live along with Filmic Pro to create these awesome videos where I can step away from my computer and create stories and shorts for YouTube. So check out Ecamm Live. You go to EileenSmith.com slash Ecamm. Stay beautiful. Oh, she's something else, ain't she? <laughs> okay, so in that case, guys, I had my sound levels from the phone set on playthrough. But with Filmic Pro, you do not want to have playthrough because remember, we already turned on audio with the HDMI. And if you put on playthrough, it's going to be playing twice. And if you turn off audio through HDMI and you think, oh, well, I'll just turn off audio through HDMI and I'll turn on playthrough. No, it won't work. <laughs> so that's why this is a key setting that I want to make sure that you use. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your kind, uh, consideration for viewing this video today. Ecamm Live has also uh, been in the works with our interview guest feature where you don't have to use Skype anymore. So, oh, thank the heavens and thank the twins, Glenn and Ken Aspillet, who are the developers and founders of, of the whole Ecamm Networks. And they have been working on that so long because I guess, you know, I think they were always, well, I know they were always Mac developers. And one of their most popular tools was Ecamm Call Recorder, which worked with Skype. And it was very helpful for podcasters. And that's how I even found out about Ecamm. I'd been hearing about it for years, even before I had a Mac. I'd been hearing about Ecamm call recorder, like it was indispensable for folks doing interviews using Skype. However, I know I personally have not ever been a fan of Skype. And a lot of people say, I'm not sure because I don't use it, <laughs> that it eats up a lot of your memory that it puts a lot of bloat on your computer. Now, if those of you who love Skype, you've been using it for, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm, even if you work for Skype and you're looking at this, I ain't trying to offend you either. I love you. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't like the tool, Skype. <laughs> I never wanted to use it. I don't even like that noise that it makes when you call somebody. Dana, Dana. Oh gosh, it's annoying. So I'd been wanting Ecamm uh, folks to 
come up with a re replacement. And I think in the beginning, when the, the beta group was really kind of small and maybe only less than a thousand people were in that group, and I was one of the voices that, you know, didn't want Skype. And then as the group grew, more and more people kept saying, Skype is the worst. I can't use Skype. Oh, it's the... And I was like, thank you, because more people that say it, you know, because as a developer for an app, you know, things get moved up on your priority list. Oh, there's my darling daughter. Uh, things get moved up on your priority list based on the feedback that you get. And that's a, another tip for any of you who are developing anything. It doesn't have, even have to be an app. You want to get the users together and get feedback from them and ask them about different tools, different ideas, and have them tested, have them field tested, especially with an app, have them field tested. And which is something that I've been doing with Ecamm Live for a long time now. And so as people, more and more people started saying how whack it was to use Skype, you know, they, they really, spent a lot of time and dedication to uh, getting rid of that Skype interface or, or the need for the Skype interface. It still works with Skype, but what we can do now is just bring in people just with a simple link, just by adding a simple link. And so we will do a demo of that here. Uh, not today, but in a future live stream, because I do, uh, you know, and it doesn't even have to be a live stream. It could be pre-recorded because remember with Ecamm live, you can pre-record as well as go live. So I hope I've convinced you go ahead and give it a try. And I think there's one more little fancy thing that I want to show you. And let's, uh, oh, let's first of all, let's get rid of that. And let's put this up. And as I exit, uh, hmm, nope, it didn't work. That's okay. <laughs> oh, no, because I got it on iPhone. Darn it. Yeah, I don't have all my ducks in a row. So with that, I will say as I leave, go ahead and click on some of the other videos that you see popping up here on the screen. And as always, stay beautiful.